Hello wonderful people, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel and today I'm going to be doing a live review of the new track from Sharks, Rainbow Gun. Here we go, first solo original tune of 2021 from one of the most exciting acts in melodic bass music right now. Someone with one of my favourite styles at the moment I would have to say and yeah just impressing with every release you know sometimes i think the ideas are a bit more creative and inventive but the production at least i think always pulling it through which is far more than i can say for most every time i think in at least one department it's been and is gonna be exceptional from sharks you know super detailed bright fresh vibrant colourful and yeah dubstep that's just full of life which I've been enjoying a lot and which has been missing a lot in this scene the last few years or so. So yeah very happy to be devoting a video solely to his music so uh, yeah hearing it here for the first time gonna play it a couple of times and provide comment along the way you know how we do. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. He has this amazing knack of making you feel like you're underwater through his design. Do you know what I mean? Oh! vibrant, vivid, like imagistic almost, you know, you can kind of see an image in front of you when you hear that kind of music, like just so alive and real. It really feels like it's here, like just in front of me. Oh, that is fucking good. A bit jumpy. Quite, quite short-lived, quite short-lived, wasn't it? I mean, for shark standards anyway, you know, you do kind of associate his music with uh, with quite drawn out, quite lengthy numbers, which is, uh, I mean, yeah, it's cool to kind of get his style in a shorter format, shows that he can do that. And I think it worked for the most part, you know, on, on a structural level, yeah, it didn't have to, it didn't necessarily need a, you know, a much bigger midsection or, a bigger outro or anything like that. I think the kind of flavour, the colour, the impact was felt in the heavy moments we got and that was providing the good of the tune and it didn't need to kind of embellish it too much more, which, you know, I say that we associate his music with the longer kind of format as opposed to what we get here. And, you know, sometimes I must admit that has been kind of to the detriment of him. Sections uh, overstay their welcome a bit and are a bit too long and just leave you becoming just a little bit disinterested in the track as it goes on. But here, very to the point and just delivering that flavour, the idea, the colour. And again, just good to hear his style, his design, his aesthetic if you will in that shorter format. The introduction again from him, like usual, very underwater and atmospheric ethereal and blissful yeah just kind of plunging you right into the image and world of the tune from the very off and then proceeded to become a bit more intricate a bit more yeah just more fluid you know you can really see the detail and the kind of trickling water of the music just kind of running over the top the first drop i think for the most part quite straightforward not one of his most inventive or creative but again that thing of the design the color of it the flavor just really pulling it through and there were some fantastic like very very good little break moments with uh, just sounds kind of firing off in all directions and uh, providing a bit of energy a little spark for the tune which was good then the second drop uh, was good I think had a good switch up from what I remember another section that I'm looking forward to hearing again and yeah it was just a bit more impactful actually did have those very devilish moments where the bass just became so much more I don't know like full and rich and it just really kind of pierced through and it became a moment basically that was difficult to ignore and happening twice so one probably that I'm gonna kind of get more out of when I hear it again and again and the second time 
is uh, what I'm going to do right now. Hopefully the colour and the idea overall will just shine through. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will get more out of it on this second listen. Let's go. We've got a very Sharks feel to it from the off. I think that's undeniable. Those little break moments are fantastic. So good. But yeah, as you can hear, the idea, the main idea, not like, not very inventive, not super creative. More about letting the production shine through here, letting the design and the aesthetic kind of have its say. And on second listen there, I think some of the percussion could have been a bit sharper, just a bit more refined and having more more impact and more of a say in that heaviness overall. Not to take away from the colour of it though, the flavour, fucking good. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is a joke. That is a joke. And I kind of wish there was a little bit more of that. You know, you can hear quite clearly the difference and contrast between the production overall not being quite as impactful, quite as thick, quite as full on against that more that more rounded and more detailed and more full and fleshed out sound which we get in those little moments in that second drop. Yeah, I just kind of wish that we had just a little bit more of that because in the first drop and for large parts of the second one, yeah, the uh, the back drop just doesn't quite pull through quite as much. Lest that take away from the color of the tune overall. You know, with someone like Sharks, it's all about having quite a high standard already. So for me, as someone who's appreciated his music a lot in the last, you know, year, year and a half or so, I'm just kind of, you know, hoping it's going to top the amazing stuff that he's done already, which is going to be very difficult. And I think with every tune, you know, for me, I did say at the beginning that there's at least one department in every tune from him where it's exceptional. And here for me, that would be through the production, which in large parts is fantastic. But more than that, I think, yeah, just the overall colour of it and flavour of it is just exceptional from start to finish. You know, you can always feel it. The real imagistic and yeah, just a live feeling of the design that we get here again from Sharks. From beginning to end, I'm kind of blown away on that front. The sheer design of it, you know, the production in large parts carrying through, but in some parts not quite carrying through, in particular in the heaviness for me. Yeah, just not quite as impactful in comparison to other moments we get. Uh, but yeah, you know, just again, that thing of design, aesthetic, it's just, it's so, it's just so real. Again, just feels like it's right here in front of me. And in many ways, that is what everyone loves most about Sharks' music. So uh, a couple of things I would say are bringing it down here for him. The ideas aren't his most creative, are quite straightforward. And the production in the heaviness at points, yeah, just not quite as on point and full on and impactful and emphatic as what we get elsewhere. But then on the other hand, I think here he's, you know, unleashed his style in a different format, a different structure, just a lot shorter than usual, which is good. And the production also in large parts is fantastic. And the relationship between the different sections is really good. And some fantastic break moments as well, lest I forget in amidst, well, in spite of the more straightforward main ideas we get, you know, they definitely shine through. Said a lot there and I hope it all made sense. I just had quite a lot of thoughts going on and they might have come across in a bit of a jumbled way. But yeah, I hope I've kind of made sense with my overview and review here of Rainbow Gun by Sharks. Yeah, some things which are, yeah, as I said, kind of bringing it down maybe just a touch, but I think the good shining through in what is another colourful, flavoursome, full of life and melodic tune from Sharks. So uh, yeah, that would be my roundup of his latest tune right here, Rainbow Gun. But yeah, there we have it. My live review of the new track from Sharks, Rainbow Gun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. What did you guys make of Rainbow Gun? Do you have any favourite moments from it? 
or maybe stuff you would change, let me know, drop all of your views, thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. Beyond that, if you're enjoying the content, then subscribe if you get to and hit the bell along the way and my social media accounts and Discord, as well as the Naughty Step Patreon page are linked below. And yeah, if you want to help the channel grow, reach its full potential and get a load of bonus or exclusive content along the way, check out the Patreon link in the description and yeah, check out the different tiers and get involved. But yeah, keep it naughty. If it's naughty, then you know, and I shall see all of you legends in the next one. Peace.